Hey everybody! Good Wednesday, March 13, 2019 afternoon. Yes, I'm still here at my Edmund house. <laughs> I'm trying to go home, but I keep finding an excuse every day that I can't go home. My husband keeps saying, when are you coming home? <laughs> And I really do need to get there. I don't know if I just told Viv or I told all of you guys, but this new company that bought us, they have hired a female salesperson to work at the store where my husband works. And my husband and I built that store, and we built an office for both of us, so we both sat in the same room. His desk on one side, my desk on the other. Well, now that I'm not there, the new sales girl is at my desk in the same room with my husband. This is true. And not only that, my secretary called me the other day. She said, Joy, there's a new sales girl here and she's sitting at your desk. I said, oh, I know. I heard about her. I said, what does she look like? She said, she is drop dead gorgeous. I said, oh my gosh. I said, is she dark or blonde? She said, she's dark haired. She's young and she has a gorgeous figure. I said, oh my, I better get home right away. I've been kidding my husband about it. But I honestly have no fears. No fears. My husband is totally mine and I know it. But still. <laughs> I don't want him to be too lonely in the evenings if you catch my drift. I don't know if the girls I asked. My secretary said, does she have a wedding ring on? She said, well, I didn't notice. <laughs> I said, well, go in there. I said, go in there every 20 minutes and ask Jerry a question. <laughs> So anyway, I think I really am going to go home tomorrow. What happened yesterday to keep me from going home was my laptop. Do you guys see my laptop? I bet you can't even hardly see it. It is so skinny. See how skinny it is? Super, super. I don't think it's over half an inch. And here at the end, it's only three-eighths. Here in the front, probably a quarter. I mean, this thing is skinny. But this is the computer that I use every day to make my videos. This is what I plug my camera into and I upload my videos on it. I have video software at my other house on my desktop computer, but my desktop computer here is too old and it wouldn't take the new um, software that goes with my camera, so I can't use it. So anyway, this is it, you know, and I love to be up here to do these videos, that's why I'm here, that's number one reason, is because this house has the really fast internet. So anyway, I did my usual thing, got out of bed, put the bottoms to my pajamas on because I never wear them to bed. <laughs> and oh my goodness, y'all remember those two pair of pajamas? Oh, they're going to be worn out in another couple weeks. I love them. Just love them. What's the deal? I was thinking about this yesterday. I watch a lot of how-to videos. Um, you know, people that sew, but almost all of them are from England, and I have the hardest time understanding some of them. Some of them have, I remember that about um, my son-in-law, my son-in-law is from England, my ex-son-in-law, and uh, his parents would come, and his parents would talk, and I, and I would just, what, what are they saying, what are they saying? His dad used to say, you don't know what I'm saying, do you? <laughs> I said, no, I have no clue, and they're speaking English for heaven's sakes. <laughs> So anyway, but the thing about it is, I listen to them and I listen to her. Now, a while back, everybody was using the word love in triples. They didn't just love something. They didn't just love, love something. They love, love, loved it. I just love, love, love this fabric. I just love, love, love this pattern. I just love, love, love this nightgown, whatever. <laughs> Where did it come from that everybody loves something three times? I was saying it too. I mean, it just catches on and everybody starts saying it. Well, now they don't say that anymore. Have y'all noticed? What they say now is, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love that. How is it, um, itchy eyebrow, that a person somewhere on the planet can say something a different way and then all of a sudden, everybody all over the world is saying, I absolutely love it. I thought, you know, I need to change it. I need to find a new way to say it. How about just I love it? <laughs> and see if everybody in the whole wide world will change it. 
I don't know. It's just something I noticed, you know, my lightning fast morning. So anyway, I got up yesterday morning, put on my pajama pants, put on my slippers, walked out into the kitchen, made my cup of coffee, and I went and I sat down in my blue chair in what I call the red living room. We still have a living room that's an actual living room here. You know, I took the one over for my sewing room. But the other one's still an actual living room. I call it the red living room because it's got a red couch in it. Hold on a second. So I went out there, sat down, picked up my computer off the floor, had my cuppa right next to me. I opened it up and I pushed the little button. It's got a little tiny itty bitty button over here. I mean, it's like one eighth by a quarter inch. And I pushed the button, nothing happened. I pushed it again, nothing happened. I had it plugged in. It was plugged in all night to the charger. I thought, well, maybe it's overcharged or something. So I pulled the charger out, pushed it again, nothing. Called my brother, who's a computer nerd. He owns a business called Integrity Computers. I asked him what. He asked me a bunch of questions, told me to hold the button in forever, blah, blah, blah. And he finally said, Joy, it's probably the battery. I think your battery's dead. So I bought this at Best Buy exactly three years ago this week. Three years ago. I think I bought it on the 8th, March the 8th. This is March the 13th. They told me, any problems, just bring it back in here. We can fix it for you. You know, you have to pay for it, but they've got this thing called the Computer Geeks, and you're supposed to be able to take your computer in there. So I thought, okay, fine. So I put it in this case, and I drove over to where this big mall is, Quail, Quail Creek Mall, it's called. And there's a big movie place in there, and then next to it is this giant Best Buy, and next to the giant Best Buy has been this great big vacant store forever and ever and ever and ever. So anyway, I drove into the Best Buy parking lot and I actually took a picture of this. I'm gonna put the picture right here. Uh-huh, how about that? How about that? The great big vacant building was a brand spanking new Hobby Lobby. It just opened in October last year. So that's October, November, December, January, February. Five months ago it opened. It is brand spanking new. So, thank goodness. <laughs> because I walked into Best Buy, I told the man, this is my computer, I need to take it to the repair. He said, go over there. So I went over there and this total computer nerd guy, um, came out of these black curtains and I said here the battery said my computer I need a new battery we don't do that here I said you don't I said well how am I supposed to get a battery he said well we can't do it here and if we did have a battery those screws on the back of that are so tiny we can't even hardly get those things apart he said why don't you try batteries plus they'll put it in they'll have a battery and they'll put it in for you fine went out in the parking lot Got on my cell phone, looked up Batteries Plus. It was down the street a couple miles. I thought, before I drive there, this is that brand new Hobby Lobby staring at me, you see. Before I drive there, I'm going to call them and make sure that they'll put the new battery in my computer. Called them up. No, we don't do that. We can't open your computer, and we may not have the battery. We'd probably have to order it. <sighs> so I was getting very upset about this computer. So I put the key in my car and I moved to another parking place because it was raining. Moved to another parking place right in front of the new Hobby Lobby and I took myself in there. <laughs> it was lovely. Uh, it's just sparkling. You know, all the lights work. All the counters are brand new. Nothing's broken. Nothing's stained. Everything's just brand, brand new. It was just wonderful. And so, of course, I went back to the fabric. You know, the sew notions, the, uh, what are they called? Sewology? Sewology notions were all uh, half price yesterday. So, anyway, I wanted to tell you, before I show you what I bought, yes, I bought something. I wanted to show you. The deal was, I was supposed to be meeting Philly, right? She wanted me to meet her at another mall called Penn Square Mall. And there's a brand new container store there. And she and I both love this container store. And she's getting her house ready to sell. 
And so she went to buy some stuff to organize her closets and make them look neat and organized and stuff. And so I was supposed to meet her there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, I, by the time I got there, she was in the checkout line. <laughs> because I had to go to Hobby Lobby for heaven's sakes. I didn't want to hurt the people's feelings. They put a brand new Hobby Lobby there, and then I just ignored it. My gosh, it could go out of business tomorrow. So I got there, and she was checking out. She had almost $400 worth of stuff in her cart. She had three giant bags to carry out. So anyway, after that, we went to eat. Where did we go? We went to this place called Pepperoni Grill to eat. Well, then, since we were in a mall, I said, I want to go look for a bedspread because I want to redo my bedroom here. And um, so we went. We went to Dillard's. Yuck, nothing. Didn't like anything. Um, went to JCPenney's. Yuck, nothing. Didn't like anything there either. Really, they had so little to choose from. I was really just being floral. Shoot, forget floral. Goodness. But then... Here's the then part. <laughs> we had to walk all the way down the mall, you know, and I wanted to walk, you know, I loved to walk and get exercise, trying to get this fat belly off of me. So we walked and walked and walked and walked, but while we were walking, Philly saw this place called Nobility. It was right next door to Dillard's. Nobility. And she said, I want to go in there. And I said, okay. Now, Philly does not like coffee. She hates it. She only drinks hot tea. And I only drink hot coffee or herbal tea. Well, this was one of those kinds of stores that they had like teas from all over the world and they're in great big cartons and so, some of them are decaf and some of them are caffeinated and some of them are herbal and they all have different stuff in them. And so I thought, well, maybe I'll get some of this kind of tea, maybe this kind of tea. Uh, taste better or something. So the girl started opening the boxes and she'd take the lid of the box and she'd go like this and wave the air into my face <laughs> so I could breathe it. Go, no, 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 I don't like that one. No, she do another one. And I go, no, 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 I don't like that one. And she'd do another one. The poor girl, she probably did 10 of them. I swear to God, she did one. She opened it up and she did this in my face and I breathed and I went, Oh my heavens, I said, that's just like somebody just mowed the lawn and dumped the grass in that box. No, 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 it's probably embarrassing Phyllis to death. <laughs> but anyway, never give up, never give up. I'm not drinking coffee. I'm drinking my brand, brand, brand nobility. It's strange what she wrote on here. It says peach side, S-I-D-E, peach side. S-I-D-E, I -E. I don't know what S-I-D-E -E means. Mango and ru rubus. And I bought two whole ounces of it. It's almost gone. I just got it yesterday. <laughs> peach side. Peach side. Like beach side. Oh, I bet that's it. Peach side is the name of it. Kind of like beach side. Cool. Mango and rubus. So anyway, you have to have a, a thingy because it's loose tea leaves. So you have to have a thingy to put the loose tea in and then put it in your hot water. This is probably my fifth cup. I love it. It is so good. Mm, peach. Very, very good. And it's especially good in my cup that Pat sent me. <laughs> so anyway, got home. After seeing Phyllis, getting the tea, going to the computer place, blah, blah, came home, I thought, fine, whatever. I bought a three-year extended warranty when I bought this computer. So I got out the information from my computer um, case, call this number for your kind of computer. So I called the number up. Got somebody on the phone in, you know, 15, 20 minutes, it takes forever. And I told her. Something's wrong with my computer, it needs a battery, I need to send it to you, and I have a service contract. I'm sorry, ma'am, your service contract expired March 9. Yesterday was March 12. I mean, I could not win. <laughs> so anyway, since she was the warranty girl, and she found out my warranty was worthless because it just expired, she didn't want to talk to me anymore. So she said, I'm going to forward this information on to somebody else, and somebody will call you in one or two hours. Well, three hours went by, four hours went by, but 7.30 last night, a girl actually did call me. Her name was Emma, 
and she was super, super nice. And she had me help her get into my computer. I was out of the blue, it came on. How, I don't know. She told me it probably had a bunch of static electricity built up in it. And there's a way you can hold two buttons down for 30 seconds and it somehow erases whatever's going on that the static electricity has done. And it is very staticky in this house because of the heater running all the time, you know. So I'm always coughing. So she was, I was probably on the phone an hour with her. But she got in my computer and she did all these updates and did all this other stuff to it. She was very, very, very nice. So anyway, long story short, my computer works again. When I get this movie made, I can put it in here and I can upload it before I go home. I think I really am going home tomorrow. I really am because I need to take care of my other house for a while. I've been here, I've been here two weeks. Yeah, I think I was here two weeks yesterday. So anyway, got to go back to my other house, but I don't have to go to work anymore. I do have a lot of work to do at my house, though. I do a lot of personal business for me and for Jerry. So anyway, I'm going to move the camera out to the other room, and I'm going to show you what I brought home from Hobby Lobby yesterday, okay? And you guys go to Nobility, T-E-A, Nobility, and get yourself some peach side tea. Ooh, is it ever good? Mm. It's way better than coffee. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, here I am on the other side of the desk. <laughs> and yes, just in case you're wondering, this is another blouse. Remember I bought this fabric for Hobby Lobby. I've decided I don't look good in white. White used to be my best color, but for some reason I don't look good in white anymore, so I'm gonna quit buying white. <laughs> but same as the blue blouse, only short sleeve. And remember I said I was gonna put slits on the side so I can get in the pockets. So, finished this this morning. I learned how to do buttons on my Solaris, I already knew how to do the button holes, so I learned how to do the buttons today. So it's really an awesome machine, it ought to be. <laughs> so, remember I told you about seam rippers. I bought four more of them yesterday. So I can have one by every sewing machine. And you know, I never did show you guys what I bought at the container store. I've got to do that. Oh my gosh, you can't see it from there. But it's these little rolling carts. I wonder how heavy it is, if I can lift it. Ugh, it's pretty heavy. Can you see that? We all say that. Viv says that. Becky says that. It rolls around. It is absolutely wonderful. I'll take a picture of it and put it in here. Picture of cart right here. Cool, huh? I've got three of them. And there's three places in here that I have them. And so each one on the top has all the tools I need for the sewing machine it's next to. Awesome! Scissors, gauges, seam rippers. Anyway, I bought four more seam rippers. Two are in the Go Home to Kingston bag. I bought four gauges. Two are in the Go Home to Kingston bag. And I bought some little bias tape makers because I'm wanting to try binding necklines like Viv does with bias tape and so I thought I have the uh, simplicity one the big machine that does it and heats it and irons it and rolls it and everything I've never used it bought it years ago <laughs> I have it in my other house but I don't have that here so I bought some of these little bias tape makers so I have those here so then this Hobby Lobby had some gurdy fabric you know, Gertie Fabrics at Joann's. I have never seen Gertie Fabric at Hobby Lobby ever. But I love this. I saw this on something Gertie was on. I don't know if it was in a pattern book and I saw it or what. But I love blue and yellow. And this is a border print. And I think it is the cutest, cutest thing. So I got this to make a top and this to make the pants. And you know, I can whip the pants up in no time now. Now that I've got the pattern perfected, I'm wearing my pink ones today. Love them. Very, very comfortable. So, very, very excited about that piece. I think it's beautiful. And then it's got polka dots in it. Oh, add polka dots to everything if you ask me. And then, this is a knit. It's kind of a, 
a different feeling that I never saw this at my Hobby Lobby either. Remember, it's a brand new Hobby Lobby. And they had this gorgeous knit. So I bought another piece of Kona to make pants to go with it. <laughs> so two more navies. I've decided I look good in navy these days. So I'm buying a lot of navy. In fact, I bought a third one. Okay, so this is one outfit. I'll cut those two pants out at the same time. I'll put the red on top of the yellow or the yellow on top of the red. And I'll cut them both out at the same time, make them both the same day. Because these pants are so comfortable. And they have pockets. That's the best part. <laughs> now I bought one more, another almost navy, but this is actually blue and black. And would you believe, in all of the Kona colors, they did not have a single blue that matched this. But isn't that one nice too? I really like that. And so this can go with blue jeans or it can go with, um, uh, I don't have any blue pants, I don't think. <laughs> It can go with black or it can go with blue jeans. So anyway, that's what I got. And so now I have to quit buying things. And I have to figure out, what am I going to leave at this house? What am I going to take to my other house? And I've got to start packing my car today. It is um, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to start putting everything away in this sewing room. And then I'm going to start loading my car up. And getting ready to head out of here in the morning and I think I'll just walk into my old office and see what's going on. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh heavens! I don't know, maybe I shouldn't do that. He told me he was helping her do something yesterday and I thought, hmm, does that mean he was like looking over her shoulder and pointing at stuff? <laughs> A female's mind, you know, you really got to watch it. <laughs> okay, y'all, I don't have time to do much more. So, I'll be going back to slow internetville tomorrow. So, um, you may get a video a week. You may. <laughs> Maybe one every two weeks. We'll see. I love making them, but I just hate the time it takes to upload them there. It's just ridiculous. So, anyhow... That's it for now, and until next time, you all have a wonderful entry into spring. I sure am going <laughs> to.